Hi friends, I am so glad to be back with you again today. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by a job or maybe an assignment that you were supposed to do? Maybe somebody told you to do something or maybe somebody gave you an assignment that you didn't actually know how to do. That can feel pretty frustrating or even scary or unnerving sometimes, can't it? Well, last week we talked about how God commands us to love each other and then tells us that we are the light to his world, that we need to share his love with others so they can see and experience God more clearly so that everyone can know what God is like and worship him. That's a pretty big job, isn't it? I don't know about you, but sometimes I already feel pretty busy or like I have enough to do. The thought of a big job like this can feel very overwhelming. But God doesn't give us a command and then just expect us to figure it out and get it done. This week is probably one of my favorite weeks because we get to talk about how God gives us everything that we need to do what he's asked us to do. He fills us up so that we can share his love with others. In fact, the Bible is full of verses that remind us of this. One of my favorite verses is Isaiah 41.10, where God himself says, Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged because I'm with you, because I am your God. I will help you. I will make you strong. I'll support you with my mighty right hand. And in his letters to the churches, Paul assures us that it's God who works in us to want to do what pleases him, and then he gives us the power to do it. Paul reminds us that God gives us absolutely everything we need. He doesn't tell us to do something and then just leaves us hanging. Sometimes it's really easy to think that there's not enough time or energy or love to go around. We might feel like we finally get some. but then it's gone. We don't have enough to give to anyone else. But God is so much bigger than that. His love is so much greater. So when we try to love people just because we have to or because we're supposed to, it's true. We may not have anything left. We may not have anything to give. But God is the source of all love and all good things. So when we go to him first, we'll always have more to give to others. God is always going to give you enough to do what he wants you to do and to love who he wants you to love. Let's pray. Father God, like Paul, I pray that you who are so full of peace and love and mercy would fill us up with every good thing to do exactly what you want us to do, to love exactly who you want us to love this week. Remind us to come to you often. They remind us to be filled up by you so that we can share your love with the world. Amen. You are loved, dear ones. We'll see you next week.